is dying. This child is dying. Ah, he's dying. He's dying. He's the only one I have. Ah, ah, he's dying. He's dying. He's the only one I have. Help me wake him. He's dying. This child is dying. Ah, he's dying. Place close to my heart. Come, who would not love this place? <laughs> so many herbs yet undocumented, potency unbelievable. And while I complain, I know I can't trade seeing the people of Agbabi when they are healed just by the herbs growing in their land. In over six decades of successfully administering alternative herbal therapy, that I would not find a cure or at least a palliative. But this disease, lacoma, this sounds ludicrous, especially as these villagers believe it to be an ancestral cause. I know I laughed at their suggestion, but could it be true? that this is an ancestral curse sent to wipe away the youths of this generation so that peace can reign in their land? Come off it! That's ludicrous, isn't it? I just need to find the right herbs to heal this disease that there are no generational causes. It is unscientific.
Are you really there? Oh, I feel sick to my bones. I feel defeated. How can three children die just in one night? Right under my nose and I could not do anything about it. At this rate, I wonder how long it would take for every child to be wiped out from this village. I need to find a solution. This is why I came here. Nobody should die just like that. Just like that. Good afternoon, sir. Oh. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Deborah, that's okay. It's okay. Professor, how are you? You're not looking good. Is everything okay? Unfortunately, true, I'm not looking good. I, um, um, this village, my village needs you and I urgently. And that's why I've made this trip. There's a deadly disease that has struck the village. And with what I have heard about this, it looks more like a pandemic. And it's very deadly. The name is called Lakuma and it's very, very fast. It's mostly it affects the young folks, you know, and research has shown that um, it's spread through worms that feed on fruits. And mostly when those fruits are now consumed by youth, it catches on. Yeah, um, understandably so, because, you know, in the, back there in the village, people would play under the trees, the fruits will come and they pick it up and eat it. Initially, I assumed that it wouldn't get close to us. But I seem to have made a mistake. Because it's here now. So what herbal therapy are we looking at, sir? Unfortunately, there's not much success in that area. As, as a matter of fact, there's no success whatsoever. So mm. bad. Deborah. I have researched this disease for four years, but I keep meeting with a dead end. And um, unfortunately, I have nothing. I've been unsuccessful in finding a cure for lacuma. Not so. Uh, there's a solution, I believe. I'm optimistic too, sir. You're good at this. I trust you. You'll find a way. Not really. To me, I believe you have the solution. Me? I don't understand, sir. Deborah. Yes, sir. It looks like you will have to be the person to find the solution. Me? I, I, I don't understand, sir. Yeah. For the past few years, I've watched you closely, training under my tutelage. You've shown a great passion for alternative therapy and research into herbal medicines. Most importantly, I've observed a heart that cares in you for lives. And that's the single ingredient that we need to save lives. That's critical to this challenge. I need you to undertake this research adventure to find a cure to Lakuma disease. I need you. The cure is contained in a flower called Kubayo. It's a beautiful flower that comes seasonally with stringed hair, only surviving within a short period of the season when it grows. 
It grows right at the foot of Kajara Mountains. And its potency is very strong. In fact, as strong as its beauty. Without that, there is no other way against Lakuma. A journey to where? Where, where will I stay? I'm, I'm just a young researcher. And you know the bias in our country against women traveling alone. How will I cope? I'm not even good with roads. Deborah. I... Sir. Look at me. Everything you need to succeed on this journey is already provided for. Hmm. The most important tool on this journey is this. The most important tool you need for this journey, you hold it. It's right here. Everything you need for this journey, for your success on this journey, it's here. Look, following this map takes you through all the routes and mountains where the Kubayo flower is grown. You mean all I need is in this piece of paper? Yes, this is what we need for the cure. Please, permit me to ask some questions, sir. You go. Have you or anyone you know gone on this journey before? <clears throat> not quite. I've not really gone on this journey before, but I can assure you that I know what I'm saying. I know deep in my heart that you can make this journey. I've watched your passion and dedication to everything research and I'm confident that you are all we need. Where will I stay? How long am I staying for? Who will I stay with? I don't know. You just believe me, Deborah. Everything is in the map. Everything is in this map. This map is a mystery. It's only meant for the sojourner. I've not really been on this journey before, so I can't even explain the map. It's a daily guide, I believe, for your work on this journey. But I assure you, if you follow this map closely and the instructions thereof, you can never be lost. Okay? Professor. Yeah. I totally understand all that you said. But... I don't think I'm prepared to go on this journey. I'm really sorry, sir. Well, I'm also sorry I seem to be mounting pressure on you. I understand I have not given you time to ruminate over the whole thing. It's just that we don't have time. Children are dying and more are likely to die. Yes. Please, sir, can, can I think about it and as pray about it, sir? I hope that's okay. Yes. I have confidence in you. Go ahead. wrong with you? You look lost. Is there something you want to talk about? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Please excuse me. Debbie! But the boss is calling you.
person inside. Yeah. I'm really to bother you. My name is Deborah Oshu. Of the institute, I studied both in the university, and I just wanted to say that was a fantastic presentation you made that day. Oh, and I'm really inspired by you, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Ooh, that's my pleasure. Thank you. Um, there was an opening I saw recently that you need an intern to work with you on a part-time basis. Oh, sorry. What about that? I put it on your institute's notice board. Anything? Um, I'm interested, sir. I've always admired your work and wished I had an opportunity to intern with you someday. Really? Yes, sir. That shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> Thank you, sir. So you just put in an application Thank and you then sir. you follow the whole process. Okay? Okay, sir. But I could also give you my card. Wow. Thank yeah. you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, like I said, you follow through the, you know, it has to take a due process of, you know, qualifying. Okay, sir. And once you put it in, maybe you call me, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yes, thanks. Uh, one more thing. You really have to be sure your institute is willing to release you to work with me, okay? Oh, that shouldn't be a problem, sir. I can sort that out. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Says, 
I will find an abode when I get here. But this is just a tree. Ah. Is anyone there? Relax. Calm down, please. Just calm down. Are you alright? Are you okay? What are you doing here? Who are you waiting for? Is all well with you? My name is Deborah. I'm a researcher and I'm on a mission to get some plants. I do not have a clear direction of my entire journey. But I have a map as my guide. The map says... I should stay here and I will find an abode. But I can't find any. I think I'm lost. Oh, so sorry. You don't need to cry. Please just calm down, okay? Though I don't really understand what you're saying. And this your map. Sincerely, I don't understand. But if you need a place to rest, I can offer you one. Yes. My house is not far from here. My house is behind that tree there. So I can still offer you an accommodation. Thank you, ma. So you're Thank welcome. you so much, ma. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. This place. Ah, you're a female tonight. Thank you, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma. Are you alright? Yes, ma. You'll be fine, okay? Thank you, ma. We are going this way. Okay, ma. Just follow the family. Thank you so much, ma. Sorry. Please come. Please have your seat. Thank you, ma. Oh, sorry, eh? You are welcome. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? Oh, you are welcome. Thank you, ma. So, by the way, I'm Mrs. Ajayi. I'm a missionary. I left Lagos some years ago to this place. The community gave me this three-bedroom bungalow. At least, this is where I stay for now. Wow. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Ajayi. You're welcome. Your house is really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And thanks to my wonderful foreign missionary friends who furnished and refurbished this place for me. Wow. So, I'm a single mother. I have a grown-up son who doesn't live in this country. And uh, what else? I think I'm all by myself. <laughs> well, so you live here all by yourself. Don't you get bored? Um, not really. Most times I'm busy with the mission work. And, uh, you know, I've been enjoying the company of the host of heavens for long. <laughs> wow. That's more than enough company you have here, man. <laughs> exactly. And, and you know now that... I have a company in YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, you see, recently I sent a message to the mission house and the community that I'm willing to accommodate any young lady who is in need of accommodation. So I didn't know you'd be the one because I was expecting probably a young female youth come member that will be posted to the village. <laughs> well, this must really be a coincidence then. Coincidence? No, not really. But... I see it as, you know, you are God's saint. Yes, you are God's saint. 
anyways don't let me bore you with my long story <laughs> by now I'm, I'm very sure you must be very tired and hungry so you give me a few minutes to settle that and i'll show you your room okay thank you so much ma. <laughs> you're welcome thank you so much. <laughs> a few minutes please <sighs> A place of rest for the next two full moons. <sighs> Up next, the Kajara Mountain. <sighs> You're sure on track. Deborah. Yes, ma. You said you studied what? Botany. Okay, that is the study of what? <laughs> plants. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, plants are quite medicinal, and um, I've been researching on that professor Dan for a while now. Okay. So he uses most of the plants for concoctions and decoctions in the village. That's good. Makes lots of herbs from them. But with all of that, you said the pandemic was serious before you left the village. Uh, yeah, it just broke out shortly before I left Tagbabi and mm. unfortunately the number of infected persons are now 10. Huh? Oh my god. With about 4 deaths. Oh my god. Ah! This is an affliction from the pit of hell. Well, uh, you doubt it? Yes, it is. Uh, see, young lady, I'm so sure of what I'm saying. <laughs> With the way you describe the diseases and the infirmities, ah, they are pure handworks of the devil. <laughs> Have you forgotten the aim of the devil? <laughs> He's only here to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Nothing more. Or what do you think would have caused it for the children and the adults to just wake up one day and they got infected and bled to death? You think it's normal? No, it's not. It's not. That is not the mind of God for our lives. The scripture says, For God's thought towards us is a thought of good and not of evil to give us an expected end, a hope and a future. <laughs> it is not in the mind of God for us to inflict us, to afflict us, with diseases and, and, and infirmities like this. You think God we just want to waste our lives with diseases? No, 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 no. no. That, that can't be the mind of God for us. I uh, know. Uh, Ma, I didn't think of it that way. Maybe because um, I'm a researcher and I believe diseases must always happen. Besides, God has given us knowledge to prefer solutions to them through orthodox and herbal medicine. So, Deborah, mm -hmm. are we talking about headaches here? Or malaria, or stress due to overworking or something. That is what I'm talking about. I know what I'm saying. That is what we are saying. Even all these common diseases, the blood of Jesus is available to heal them. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Deborah, you need to pray for your village. For the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, he said he will hear them from heaven. He said he will forgive their sins and heal their lands. Although I'm not against medicine or orthodox herbs and others. No, God gave them the wisdom to do others. And God actually gave us the least they have to use. But at the same time, we cannot underplay the power of prayer in all this. How many people do you think would have died before you returned from this trip? How many people? I hope not much, ma. Oh, the boy. You have the authority, the power to change things even right from here. You have the opportunity to influence your village even right from this place. How? Prayer. 
Therefore, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree healing upon that land. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I decree healing upon that land. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. oh, the blood of Jesus flow upon the land Amen. to wipe away all diseases, Amen. to wipe away all sicknesses. Amen. In Get back in the queue. I said, Get back. Ah, get back. You'll be saved. Oh, sorry. I thought you were part of the crowd. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm actually one of the volunteers, and um, I was assigned to organize the crowd. But that's too much. What? I noticed that you were looking so frustrated from behind there. What's going on? I'm not just used to this type of crowd. Ah. Yeah. Kudos to you all at Love for All Outreach. <laughs> it's fine. Well, my name is Desmond. Oh, nice to meet you, Desmond. I'm Deborah. Oh, that's good. That's good. So I'm actually here to support the outreach and um, I'm a researcher. Oh, wow. <laughs> a researcher? Of course. Oh, I get that look. So you mean we researchers, we are poor, right? No, 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 don't get me wrong. Okay. I'm also a researcher like you. That's why really? I'm just surprised to meet a researcher too. Wow, that's, yes. that's, that's wonderful. Well, myself and my team, we are here for about 18 months. Because we found out that in this area, we have like therapeutic plants. Well, so we are here to just, you know, get them and work with them. Great. Well, I'm a botanist. I'm actually here. Um, on a journey to get a plant for a pandemic that just broke out in the village. Oh. So I have to go to the Kajara Mountain. Kajara Mountains? Like, who on earth will send you to that wicked, dangerous mountain all alone? That person must be wicked, unreasonable. Oh, oh, oh okay, please stop. I won't have you insult my professor. Professor Dan is, is my mentor and I've been working with him for a long time now. Uh, I, I mean, why will he send you here all alone? What about his own son? I mean, why didn't you send him here with a team? Think about it. Why didn't he come alone? I don't get it. Well, I have a map I'm working with and the map has always been right. He gave me the map as a guide on this journey. The map even led me to Mrs. Ajayi. So I would say it's a journey worth it. To be honest, I will say that you are lucky to have met Mrs. Ajayi. Because it seems this Professor Dan has brainwashed you. No, 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 no. Please, just stop already, okay? Thank you. It's fine. I, 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 Professor Dan and I identified a problem and I volunteered to come. So please, just let me focus on this journey. Okay, it's fine. Well, at my institute, we have an internship program going on. I don't know if you'll be interested since you'll be here for a while. No, I'm not interested. I need to save up enough energy for the trip ahead. It's fine. Well, I still hope we can I hope we can still be friends. Well, that's if you would stop saying things that would get me angry about my trip. Alright. I could reconsider. It's fine. <clears throat> See you soon. Yeah, bye. Alright, what are we doing? Okay. This is a whole lot. Ah, this is a giant really train and a team. Ah. For your thoughts? Oh, hold on, Ma. You're really doing a great job here. Ah. ah, it was a serious thing today. That's how we've been doing it, though. God has been helping us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought you were just here. <laughs> I'm not just used to this type of crowd. <laughs> ah. 
you were busy talking with Desmond. Yeah, the guy. Hmm. Deborah, you have to be careful. What did I say? Very careful. Very careful. You need to be very careful. And stay focused. Focus on your assignment here. Mind your business. Mind the reason why you are here. Do you understand? Juliet, how far? Are you guys done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, please, hurry up, eh? Everywhere is still little. Just do the cleaning on time and let us go, please. Ah. Deborah. Yes, ma'am. So how long will the internship program be? It's about three weeks, ma. Oh, really? Are you convinced about this? I mean, did you even pray about it? Mm, well, I just think I could use my waiting period for this. The next move on my map is at the end of the second full moon, so and by my calculation is it should be around the time the internship program should round up so that shouldn't be a problem by your calculation anyways you know most times this full moon always appear three days before or after the actual day so if there's any time you need to be focused it is now i will advise that you don't even do anything serious for now so you'll be able to concentrate and stay focused. You need to be sensitive in a time like this. I just feel it will afford me the opportunity to learn more. Besides, it's better than doing nothing. So. Well, you, can, you can join me in on the mission field. I have a lot of things going on around me now. I could always do that even while working. So that shouldn't be a problem, especially weekends and evenings. So. Okay, just be focused. Hmm? Deborah. Yes, ma'am. You don't want to have a think over this. I've concluded, ma. It's it's not going to be a problem. It's fine. Okay. Let's open our Bible to the book of. Well, let's just say I'm an hunter looking for a new prey. <laughs> You'll be surprised your prey is not here. <laughs> the hunter will soon become the hunted. So jokes apart, what brings you here? Well, I suppose you don't go on break in this side of the institute. I've been here a couple of times, in two weeks, and you are always stuck on this desk. Well, that will stop today because I am here to take you out. Cool. So thoughtful of you. I didn't even know time was fast spent. I was totally locked up in what I was doing. Not an issue. I didn't want to go for lunch alone, so I decided to come pick you up. Ah, thanks. Um, let me quickly document the result of my analysis. I'll join you at the cafeteria. Okay. Okay. I'll be expecting you. Yeah, thank you. After the Ministry of Health has declared the end of the fourth Lakuma virus disease outbreak in the western part of Nigeria, a new case is reportedly detected yesterday are in Agbabi community with a total of 45 infected indigents and six deaths. Case fatality ratio of 90% as of today. However, the I'm so ashamed of these people. Dr. Umar Yisa in a press what kind of information are they feeding the people? The community with medical aid. According to the World Health All they are ever interested in is casualty. Casualty. How many people did they lose? That's what they want to know. That's why all my trips to the governor and the poli Oh, how I hate politicians. How I hate them. All I get is casualty figures. Not a single visit to this place. And yet, in a few weeks, it will be full moon.
full moon. Debra, Debra, full moon. Oh, Debra, full moon. Debra, full moon. Debra. How do you expect me to eat? I mean, why do we have to wear an overall in this part of the institute? I didn't almost know it was you when you were walking in. Trust me, you look absolutely beautiful in this dress. God. Well, the overall is to protect us from people like you. <laughs> you know, this is a research institute and we do not want men mixing wrong samples together because they are carried away by corpse. Come on. Well, with or without the overall, you look absolutely amazing. Thanks. Um, so, Deborah, tell me. Tell me about yourself, your family, your friends, your loved ones, your fiancé, your boyfriend. I mean, just say something. <laughs> well, I'm just a young girl. Hmm? I live with my parents, my dad and my stepmom. My mom died when I was very little. Wow, sorry about that. I was barely six. So sorry about that. It's okay. That was a long time ago. So, what about you? <laughs> me. Parents? Me. Well, let me just say, um, I live in a polygamous home. And um, my mom, she's a third wife, in fact, the last. Uh, let me just say, growing up has always not been easy. But, yeah, I yeah. am. Strong. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That makes the two of us, right? And I hope things get better when we marry. Me? Mm -mm. I mean, when we marry someone we both love. Or, are you thinking about me? No, please. What do you mean? I have, I have to rush my food. I need to get back to work. But we still, okay, it's fine. Well, that reminds me. And we'll be having this formal party for a colleague of mine. It's like a send-off party. And um, I really love it that you'll be there. What is it? No. I'm not really a party person. Come on. Besides, I would have to tell my guardian. I don't know if she has something planned for that day already. When is it? Um, it's happening on the 23rd of March. Uh, I don't know. I would have to ask her first if she doesn't have a program planned up there. Besides, I'm not a party person. Debbie, Debbie, see, this is an opportunity for you to network. It's an opportunity for you to meet all the colleagues. Let me just rush my food and get back to work. Well, okay? actually, I will really love that you'll be there. Because I want you to be there. I don't know. I have to go now. Thanks for lunch. You're welcome. But well, are you sure you don't want to finish your meal? Mm. Okay. It's fine, thank you. Um, so guys, I really want to appreciate you for your efforts so far on this project. You guys are doing well. Thank so you, sir. You are indeed. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Um, so, first thing tomorrow morning, we leave Kumasi. Okay, yeah, okay, so sir. We, 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 our flight will be at Kumasi International Airport. Okay, so, sir. For Nigeria. Okay. okay. Um, <coughs> this movement is very important. Uh -huh. It's highly important because you know I, I told you that yeah. this information is highly classified. It's yeah. not known to a lot of researchers. Yeah. So it's just we must not slack on this. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes sir. Yes, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So um Nancy. Yes sir. What's up with the hotel reservation? Yes sir. I spoke with an agent back there in Nigeria and they've made reservations for our stay for the week to be spending there. So everything is in control, sir. Good, good, good. And the facilities, the hotel very, facilities. Very, very okay and everything is in control. But, um, sir, I was wondering what are the things we'll be needed initially the first one we get there. What are the things we need? And apart from that, sir, um our laboratory apparatus, will we be taking it down? Oh, that's yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, well, um 
our foreign partners already organize a well set up laboratory for wow. us there in Nigeria that we can always work with. Yes, so for the apparatus, we, we have no issue at all. Wow, that's, that's we have no issue. That's and that's and if there is anything at all, we we'll link up with them for further instructions. Wow, so that's that's we depend on them for everything. That's 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 good. Good. So all you need to do is to pack your baggage and let's uh that's that's a good Tomorrow morning. Alright, sir. Oh my god. This is a big party. This one told me it was a formal gathering and I'm here dressed like this. But apparently this looks like a carnival. Oh. Oh. Wow. You look. Gorgeous. Yes. I'm sure you do not know what gorgeous is. You told me it was a formal gathering and I'm here dressed like this. But apparently I was invited for a carnival. No, 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 no. That is just a figment of your imagination. Just come inside, sit down and have fun. No, no. You will enjoy it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. Come on. Um, please, can you, can you please have a seat, please? Um, um, hello everyone, hello everyone, everyone. Uh, I just want to appreciate everyone for coming for this party. You know, coming out this for me make a lot of sense, you know, and I really do appreciate it. Please, um, I don't take this for granted. Working with you in this research institute for this year has been a great honor and privilege for me. You see, um, back in out this time for a greater good, mm -hmm. you know, I know that I'm going to miss you. I miss you, bro. I miss you, bro. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I will see you at the top. Just have fun, relax. I'll soon, pepper soup, everything. Oh, God. Yes, I'm coming. Oh, God. <laughs> now, so, yes, so DJ, he did, let's dance, let's have fun. And then, um, of course, City Mama call. Is there's, a, there's, there's a moment to call for you. Ah. <laughs> Enjoy yourself and uh, have fun, you. Uh, time for getting this location. Thank you. Ah, my dear. Bye bye. Desperado. Hey, Patrick. Oh, my brother. My brother. I'm the. Have fun. I'm using you now. Yeah, I am. Hey, who do you have here? Debbie. Oh, Debbie. 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 Wow. Wow. You look nice. I've heard so much about you. The same Debbie. The same Debbie. What are you doing? What have you been telling him about? So much things about you. So much things. My name. Uh, uh, what have you been saying about me? Uh, nothing. Why just calling? Just calling. I know God, because that knows how to take care of themselves. <laughs> I love the calling it. Well, it's nice to see you. Have fun, enjoy yourself. This guy will take your feet. I can't assure you. He take your feet. Don't worry. You're in safe hands, eh? Come on. Thanks, man. Um, hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, which particular one would you like to do? Juice. Juice? Okay, okay. It's a good start. Right. Hello. A penny for your talk. I was just worried. I told Mrs. Ajayi I would return home for the vigil. Come on. The vigil is still a long way ahead. Trust me, she won't know you were out of the house or something. You'll be fine. 
Well, I think I have a solution to that. Just enjoy this. Try it, try it. No, come on, try it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad, exactly. <laughs> so don't worry, everything will be fine. I'm getting late. Just finish this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I pour some? Definitely. It's all yours. Whoa. <laughs> that's my <that's> girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Wow, I'm having fun already. You're having fun already. I'm having fun also. Mm. Just finish it and go. That's good. I, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie, Debbie. Okay, I think it's time to go. No, no, no. Yeah. Gently, sorry. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I know Stop it's fine. serious. You're okay. This. My ma. Patrick. <laughs> okay. See you guys later. Enjoy your car, bro. Where are you coming from? Good morning, ma. And why are you just coming? So, so you decided not to come for the video. Just because you had your own plans? No, ma. I... Or you've all planned it out not to sleep in this house, Abby? No, ma. <laughs> Deborah, why are you doing this? I am highly disappointed in you. So you are busy partying around. You are forgotten that you, you, you have destinies on your shoulders. Is that the reason why you are here? This shouldn't be you. I'm sorry, ma. <laughs> Deborah, what is wrong with you? Is there something you're trying to hide away from me? Nothing, ma. <laughs> Should I call Desmond myself? No, ma. My dear, please calm down. <laughs> Just calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm all ears. What is it? What happened? We had a party. Okay. I was carried away. Normally, I don't drink, but this one encouraged me to. We left the party to come home. Brother, <laughs> 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 Okay. What are we going to do now? Just stay Enoko. calm, stay calm, stay 
I'm you're welcome. Please, you. have your seat. I am so sorry for everything that happened tonight. I promise you first thing tomorrow morning, I will take you back to your place. Please, just manage with me. Um, you can have the bed. I will go sleep on the couch. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, do you want me to get you anything? No, I'm fine. Are you sure you're good? I'm just worried. I don't know what to tell Mrs. Ajayi tomorrow. I really feel bad about this. No, 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 no. Don't feel bad. It's all my fault. I promise you, first thing tomorrow morning, I will drop you off. And their video ends by 5 a.m. She won't even know you slept here overnight. You can count on me. <sighs> Debbie, Debbie, it is all my fault. What was I thinking? You, you told us to leave. What? I was enjoying your company, I was enjoying everything, I wanted you around me. I am just, I'm so sorry. It's you, all my fault. No, you don't have to be sorry. I should have left earlier. No, 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 no. This is all on me. Because you warned us. You asked us to leave earlier. Well, thank God we are safe now. Thank God we are able to turn back and... Now we are safe. You can count on me, you can trust me, nothing will touch you. You are 100% safe. Debbie, I must confess I was totally blown off tonight. I mean, I have never felt like this before. Or well, let me say, it's been long I felt like this. <sighs> Ever since I set my eyes on you, at the Love for All Kitchen, I have fallen so much in love with you. I mean, I just want you to be my everything. I, I love you so much and I really wish you feel the same way about me. <laughs> Debbie, look at me. I promise you, everything will be fine. Stop. Debbie, everything will be fine. Stop. Just trust me. Trust this me. month, stop. Debbie, Debbie. Stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> and I warned you. I warned you. I told you to be careful. I told you. Oh. oh God. Oh God. Ah. Ah. I really hope I can be forgiven. <laughs> I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> you see, my dear, you don't need to be too hard on yourself. <laughs> God can forgive you if you humble yourself. <laughs> now, listen. You can't take away what has happened in the past. But you can take charge of the future. The Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 that if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just enough to forgive us of all our iniquities and cleanse us of all our righteousness. <laughs> Deborah. I really hope God can forgive me. I had destinies of people in my hands and I blew it. No, it's not like that. You see, <laughs> my dear, no sin is too big for God to forgive. He said, though, our sins are red as scarlet. Our God is just faithful and just enough to wash them clean and it will make us white as snow. See, all you need to do now is just to humble yourself and promise the Lord that you will never do that same thing again. I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay, my princess. You can't be too hard on yourself. I'm sure the Lord has forgiven you because He has seen the, the humility in your heart. You need to forgive yourself too and move on. So you need to stop seeing this one. 
and I would advise if you need to probably quit the job at the university so you can stay focused and mind your business. Face the reason why you are here. It is well with you, my dear. Hmm? Let's not forget. We have a letter. One of the mission boys came home with the letter yesterday when you went for the party. And then. Interested. Deborah is from Prof. Oh. It's from Prof. Mm -hmm. Professor Dan. Yes. Hello, Deborah. I hope you're well and good. I write this letter with almost excitement not only because hope is near but also because it will go down in history that a passionate woman like yours saved a generation i believe you should receive this letter before next saturday as the full moon will appear around that time please be vigilant you will need to leave as early as possible in the morning after the night of the full moon. Your journey is almost done. Your prize awaits you ahead. The full moon. The full moon. <gasps> What's today's date? Today's 24. Oh! Full moon. Oh, sorry. I saw it. I saw it during the vigil. Yes. I saw it. It appeared, yes. When the vigil was going on, I saw it. It appeared, yes. I hope I'm not too late. The full moon. Deborah! 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 What is it? Deborah! Ah! Jesus! Holy Spirit! Blood of Jesus! Deborah! Deborah! Jesus! Oh, dear. It's time to move. Don't worry. All will be well. Hmm? All you need to do is just to be strong. Be courageous. You can do it. With God, all things are possible. For you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hmm? Mm. Be careful then. Watch. Slowly. Ow. It is well, my dear. Mm. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. I really want to appreciate you for everything. Mm. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for oh, come on. <laughs> you don't need to do this now. It is well with you, my angel. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will go before you. Amen. The Lord will go with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He will make every crooked way straight for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will favor you. Amen. You shall come back home with success. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are free. Amen. It is well with you. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Mm. We thank God. Hmm? Don't forget, you need to go now. This is not the time to share tears. Eh? You need to go now. Remember, you carry the destinies of a whole community on your shoulder. You must not fail them. You must not fail God. That is the reason why you are here. So you need to go now and get the kill. And you see, this is Martins and Jacob. They are the best tall guards we have in this community. And they are so used to Mount Kajara. So you don't have problem. Mm. They've been visiting the place for long. They know everywhere. I'm sure they'll be of great help. You are in safe hands, okay? okay please, you, Mattis, ma Jacob, please take good care of my angel. And thank you. Ma with you there. Bye. Deborah, the map. 
Wait here, Ma. I'm not losing it again. Bye. seen on this map. I think it should be around here. Uh, yeah. Let's move this way. Let's move this way. Sorry. It's okay. Children are dying, father. 
flowers are gone. The flowers are gone. Somebody was here before me. The flowers are gone. They are gone. Thank you for everything, Ma. You have said this over and over again. I don't think you still need to be saying all this. Hmm? It is well. You see, my dear, so this is the time for you to brace up. Fine, we may have reasons to fall at one time or the other. But it becomes very bad when we remain down. Please. This is the time to stand up. This is the time to brace up. This is the time to be strong. And I know God will give you another chance. It is well. Who is there?
daughter. Ha, my daughter. I take my gifts away from all distractions that I may not fail you out. Since I have failed you, I have failed you, I have failed, I won't be, I have failed you. I failed you. Help me to I feel that worthy. The task <laughs> I take my gaze away from all the instructions that I may not fail you at the solution after several trials and failures. Now we have the thing. This is good. Oh, I can now take a bow. Hello, Professor. Wow. Well done, sir. See who is here. <laughs> Look at the man of the moment. Oh, God. It's a privilege, sir. <laughs> well good done, to sir. see you. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Oh. I'm sure you didn't know how much I appreciate your efforts. Through your singular efforts, you have saved the lives of so many of our children and oh, youth. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, sir. It, it, it's a privilege for me, sir. Oh. You see, I've always been looking forward to working with you. For me? It's a privilege. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, I just been struggling to understand how you were able to convince your company to support Agbabi Village with the vaccine. Oh, well, well, well. I think I hold that to someone very, very special to my heart. You do? Yes, sir. And who is that? Kubayo Flower. That was the only reason why she traveled all the way from Agbabi village to this place. She went through a lot of pains. She risked her life. She stumbled. Though she retraced her step, but it was too late. Huh. And that was the reason why she missed the flower. The whole community is going through a lot of pain due to the pandemic outbreak. Hmm. Children are dying. Youth are dying. And more will still die. It's not a cause. Except they see this Kubayu flower. <sighs> Professor Dan is really trying so hard to see that things get stabilized. P Professor Dan? Yes. Hold but... on. She knows Professor Dan. She works directly with Professor Dan. Really? Yes. Do you know him? <laughs> I know Professor Dan very, very well. Ah. Ah. Professor Dan of Agbabi Village. Yes, Professor Dan. Mm. Professor Dan is like a mentor to me, you know. Ah. Ah. He has really tried his best. But there is nothing he can do without the flower. Ah. Adekunle. Please. Save the humanity. Save the mankind. 
all they need for their survival is what you are carrying. Hmm. Okomi, please. You said she came from Agbabi village? Yes. Hmm. So, how do we reach them now? So it was mommy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I will never reject my mom's request. You see, that woman, she was the key to my heart. My main reason for obliging to giving out the flowers is because she pleaded that I do that. Seems she really loves you. Your mom is really an angel. I honestly do not deserve her love. I don't know why she's so nice to me. Well, aside mom's request, our institute also found this plant by chance. You see, it was one of the foreign partners that discovered it and he told us about it. So, we, we didn't even know that a pandemic was going on somewhere. Mm. You know, it was when my mom told me that Professor Dan sent you. Then I knew that he is the lead researcher we've been looking for. He's exactly the lead researcher we need. You know? Professor Dan mentored us far back in the university days. As a matter of fact, our institute wrote him severally for him to come down to Ghana for a research work with us, but he declined. So now, this is an opportunity for us to work with him. It's, it's more like a win-win game for us. Uh, 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 I admire your kind heart. Because I know that it takes a heart of kindness mixed with lots of courage for someone to go all out to get something, not just for yourself, but for others. You must be someone with a good heart and I admire that in you. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm looking forward to the possibility of us working together. You know? Thank you. I hope that will be possible. Senior professors. Ah, prof. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Um, I had to wait for the confirmation test, so we prepare for the clinical trials, oh, you know. Good. Mm. You'll be leaving tomorrow, right? For Ghana? Yes, sir. First thing tomorrow morning, sir. And I hope you will also be joining us in Ghana in the next two months for the research work. Do I have a choice? I'm committed. I'm so impressed that your institute could release that specimen for us. It's wonderful to me, so I don't have a choice. Yeah, that's my commitment. I'll join you in two months' time. Wow. Yeah, just that um, I leave Deborah here to administer the vaccine to the infected people. And she will do that uh, for a month and then join me in Ghana. Wow. Yes. I, I can't wait to have her. <laughs> oh. Deborah. Listen to me, you have paid your dues. You're competent to take over from me. And I'm sure you know I have the confidence in you. I would have to think about that, sir. Mm -hmm. I know, you'll have to think about it and probably consult your map again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no one would have imagined everything that has happened in the last couple of months as planned. Life, as they say, is a roller coaster, you know? We just learn to flow with the tide. And um, at this stage, I'm very positive that you've learned your lessons. And um, I want to believe that a month is enough for you to think about all this, right? And I'm sure you're too smart to make a mistake again.
There is a journey set ahead of every man, a map to take him through that journey. And destiny is endlessly depending on that man's mission. As long as he keeps his eyes on the map and adhere to the words of his counselor, he would not fall for the devil's device. This is what I have learned the hard way. And so, I have proposed in my heart to always keep my eyes on the map as I proceed in my journey to fulfill my master's mission. Children are dying, father are helpless, who will, who will, That I may not fail you out the hand Lord help me not to lose my focus Help me to accomplish the task I take my gaze away from all distractions that I made. 